Hello everyone, in this lesson we are going to use addition facts that are going to help me solve subtraction problems. So I'm going to look at my addition facts and let's see if by knowing the sum I will be able to figure out what the difference is. So let's start with number one. The total or the entire sum is eight, but I only have, as you see the tiles here, I only have six. So it's already showing me that I have six here. But what is my next add -end? So let's find out. So I know that six plus one, two gives me eight. So it'll be six, seven, eight. So I'm just gonna place it right here. I know this addition. I know this equation that the six plus two gives me the sum of eight. Therefore, the whole total is eight. That is my sum and I have it here. That is the sum. But now the idea today is to figure out how can I use my addition to find how the subtraction can help me figure out the difference. So let's use, let's use the addition. We have the total, which is right here, and we are going to subtract six. We're going to take away six. So we have eight. Whole total, we take away six. We take everything away on this side. This part is going to go away. What do we have left? That's right, we have two. That is how we use addition and subtraction together. And if we were to just look at it, we would see that we still have the same numbers. We have six, two, and eight. We have eight right here. We have two right there, and we have six on this side. So we keep the same ones. They just change. We're going to keep the total on top because it, because it is everything one part is going to go on one side and the other part is going to go on the other side now let's try to figure out the next one so go ahead and do it on your own pause the video and then we're going to work it together all right so now let's find the sum first four plus what is going to give us seven so let's see four five six seven so as you see it here we have three Four plus three gives us seven. Now we have seven as our total right there. Now we have to take away four. Well, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross out the four on the side and I'm gonna see what I have left. Yes, I do have left three and that is my difference. So you see, we can use addition to figure out subtraction and subtraction to figure out addition if we have the same numbers. I hope this video was helpful.